We have never had the perfect character roster in a Mario Kart game, but the next one could change that. Mario Kart 9, X, Ultimate, whatever you want to call it, is just on the horizon, and there is so much to talk about. This time, we are going to talk about the character roster. Not only am I going to predict which characters we get, but also go over customization and a more organized, unlimited character roster. So while I spill my tea, go grab a hot cup of your own and lock in. Let us begin with the actual characters I think we will be getting in our base roster. Ironically, the least important part of my video. Obviously, we're going to have our main cast. The Mario Bros, the Wario Bros, the Princesses, Toad, Toadette, Yoshi, and Pauline. Some other guaranteed characters are Lakitu, Donkey Kong, Koopa Troopa, Shy Guy, Birdo, King Boo, Bowser, and the Miis. Now, on to more distinct characters. I want to throw in all four Brutals from Super Mario Odyssey. I find them to be way more interesting than the Koopalings, and they would most certainly be fan favorites. I am predicting Kamek to be returning, as well as the four Hammer Bro variants. Some new characters that I am suggesting to be added to the Mario Kart series are significant characters in other spin-off titles, like MC Ballyhoo from Mario Party, Grape from Princess Peach Showtime, Four Man Spike from Mario Maker, these Mario Rabbit characters which I would much rather have over the babies, and most importantly, Professor Egad from Luigi's Mansion. He was scrapped from Mario Kart DS in favor of Dry Bones, which is kind of goofy, but he deserves a strong comeback. If we sort the Miis, Hammer Bros, and Rabbids all into their own slots, we have a total of 30 characters, which can be organized perfectly like this, 5 by 6. I think this roster is good because it contains a unique blend of fan favorites and new characters that people really want. Now, you're probably wondering, where are the babies? Where are Bowser Jr. and the Koopalings? Where are all of the palette swaps and power-up variations? Where are the collaboration characters? Well, my friends, that leads us to my main idea regarding the character roster. Allow me to explain, but first, while you're at it, consider hitting that sweet subscribe button if you're enjoying this perfect roster idea. It would mean the universe to me. Anyways, I was never a fan of how limited we are with the character selections, especially with a lot of them being fillers. Obviously, some of those fillers just have to be in the game for whatever reason, which leaves little to no room for actual new characters. I also never really liked how Nintendo prioritized the quantity of characters over everything. Sometimes, it just felt like they picked a certain number of characters for the sake of organizing them into a perfect rectangular array. Now, of course, I'm not implying that we should have every single Mario character in the existence of Mario to be in Mario Kart. It's just things like cutting out Professor Egad from Mario Kart DS in favor of Dry Bones. I guess they really wanted only 12 characters because they could have easily just made Dry Bones the 13th character, but they didn't. Why? You can't make a perfect rectangular array with it? It's a mystery. So ultimately, I am suggesting multiple rosters and better organization for the game. First of all, we can have all the metallic reskin and power-up characters slotted together with their corresponding drivers, kinda like the Shy Guy colors. And while they're at it, they can also include some of the Mario Kart Tour alts in the slots because they honestly look really good. Anyways, for the multiple rosters part, they can have all of the youngsters like Bowser Jr., the Koopalings, and the babies in their own roster so they don't take up space in the base roster. Maybe they can be unlocked by completing half of the Grand Prix. They can even throw in Baby Pauline, Wario, Waluigi, Donkey Kong, and even Yoshi for the extra variety. For the collaboration characters, I can see them bringing in all of the ones from previous games into another roster. We can also have new characters like Kirby, Sonic, Pura, Knuckles, Pikachu, and Gardevoir. Characters that are somewhat fitting, at least. They can make this one a paid roster for the people that truly like collaboration characters. Speaking of payments, I really do think that we are going to be given lots of DLCs for this game where we can purchase bundles for different outfits and characters to really boost the customization. No gotcha, no pay to win, it's just pay to shine. Here are some other paid bundle ideas. A Princess Peach Showtime bundle with all of the transformations and a recolor of Grape in their own roster. A boss bundle full of bosses across the Mario franchise like Petey Piranha, Camella, Luigi's Mansion bosses, and so much more. A Kongs bundle with many members of the Kong family. There are many fan favorites to choose from. 
And I do think this game is going to have its own booster course pass DLC like Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, so maybe it can come with a bunch of characters like Honey Queen, Wiggler, and so much more. They can even have a daily or weekly shop to purchase individual base game outfits with in-game currency like coins. Wouldn't that be really cool? Maybe even challenges to unlock more outfits for more engagement overall. All of these suggestions would make the roster feel less limited and wasted with filler characters. I love the idea of a constantly expanding roster. They can keep adding bundles every couple of weeks for several years. Obviously, we won't have every character ever, but we will still have a huge and thriving roster to look up to. And this stuff can also apply to carts, tires, and gliders too. We're gonna come in hot with this game. Finally, there is one last thing I want to discuss in the video, and it's fairly quick, so please stick around. Do you guys remember how Rosalina in Mario Kart Wii had a Luma racing alongside her? Well, what if we brought this idea back, but we got to choose our little companion and choose the character we want to use them with? Introducing my idea of pets. At this point, I have really shot the idea of customization beyond the moon, but hear me out. We have Luma, but we can also have characters like Stella from Princess Peach Showtime, Cappy from Super Mario Odyssey, Beepo from the Mario Rabbids games, Brixies from Super Mario 3D World, Honeybees from Super Mario Galaxy, and so much more. They can be thrown into the base roster, bundles, shops, challenges, whatever. Trust me, I would love to have a companion racing alongside me. Anyways, that is all for this video. My perfect roster idea isn't just the usual idea with a few random characters, but a constantly expanding roster to really boost our customization capabilities. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Peace out!